Next generation sequencing is a powerful and robust tool for cancer research, but it quickly generates an enormous amount of data. This massive amount of data can create problems for anyone trying to make sense of it through analysis and annotation, and ultimately producing a lab report. To figure this out, we need some very robust bioinformatics and software. Before we get to the software, let's first talk about the challenges with finding all these biomarkers for our oncology research. There are a growing number of oncology biomarkers with potential utility. Research is published every day, but which ones have known clinical utility? And once variants are identified via next generation sequencing, which should be prioritized? Which ones are cancer drivers and which ones are passengers? There are multiple global sources of information but one of the challenges is that the information and data are not standardized, making it even more difficult to report and put into a report template. Current methods can be time intensive and may require extensive research on multiple sources to map relevant information on labels, guidelines, and clinical trials to biomarkers. Meanwhile, the NGS sequencers continue to do their jobs, resulting in an unyielding wave of data, more variants, and more biomarkers to investigate. You are left to put these into context and report back on each sample with clear and relevant information in your lab report. As the data goes from sequencer to report, there are three main stops it will make on its post-sequencing analysis journey. First, Torrent Suite software streamlines the sequencing runs and automates analysis transfer to Ion Reporter. Second, Ion Reporter software calls variants and annotates cancer drivers. And last, Oncomine Knowledge Base Reporter helps link variants to relevant labels, guidelines, and global clinical trials. As the data comes off the sequencer, you start your targeted sequencing analysis. This is where Torrent Suite software, also known as TSS, streamlines the sequencing runs with dedicated run plans and templates. Then, TSS creates BAM files and automatically transfers them to Ion Reporter, so you can walk away and continue working. Confer with a colleague, get coffee. What's a BAM file, you say? You're not the only one. They are binary alignment map files that contain sequence alignment data. The next step in this journey is identifying driver variants. Ion Reporter software simplifies annotations of SNPs, indels, CNVs, and fusions. Plus, the results are pre-filtered with the Oncomine annotations to identify likely somatic cancer driver variants. Why do Oncomine annotations provide context? It classifies each variant across 48 types of cancers. This analysis step turns the BAM file into a variant call format, or VCF file. And Ion Reporter will notify you when the analysis is complete. Automation is really convenient when you're busy. Now you can quickly create custom lab-generated reports by uploading that VCF file to Oncomine Knowledge Base Reporter. It will link those variants to curated and relevant labels, guidelines, and global clinical trials. The interface allows you to generate a report in three steps. Upload the file from Ion Reporter, filter your sample-specific reporting needs, and generate the report. You can review content on screen as you adjust filters before you generate your final report. This example shows a research sample with an ALK fusion in non-small cell lung cancer analysis. The data sources are global. Labels from the US FDA and EMA, guidelines from US NCCN and ESMO. And starting with the global clinical trial locations and filtering to only those in Tennessee. Finally, your PDF report will be generated based on your own template with custom headers and footers to fit your lab's branding needs. And you can pick from nine local languages. Get started today by asking for more information by visiting the URL below. I hope this video was a helpful tutorial on the basics of post-sequencing informatics, but I'm sure you'll have more questions. So submit your questions at thermofisher.com forward slash ask and subscribe to our channel to see more videos like this. And remember, when in doubt, just seek it out.